going on guys? Russ Lee here. I'm going to be talking today about some things that are fairly inexpensive and simple that you can do to help you improve your wildlife photography. So getting right into it guys, this is not going to be a, a video about spending money on fun things like, you know, lenses and camera body. Instead, this is going to be about something that you all can do to take your, make yourself more one of the environment, make yourself um, less obvious to the to animals, um, and kind of blend in more. So let's just get right into it. So, guys, if you uh, wash your clothing with a regular detergent that has a scent or a fragrance or something to it um, and you're out there and the wind's blowing and now you're that nice I don't know what uh, rose petals is smell or whatever it is uh, uh, you know or cool fresh whatever the scents the laundry detergent is the animals are gonna smell that so a solution for that is this uh, it doesn't have to be this brand but this is the one I just picked up it's all uh, it's free and clear it's 100% free of perfumes and dyes uh, it's also for sensitive skin so basically I be, I wash all my clothes with that detergent so that way my clothing does not smell like any kind of smells that'll help me be able to get closer to wildlife so a lot of people don't really think about these things but that is a, a big tip is get some kind of odorless laundry detergent. Um, so I started using this many months ago and in combination with some other things we're gonna talk about here in just a second. Um, and I've been able to get a lot closer to animals using these products. So let's get right into the next thing that will help you improve your wildlife photography. So. Also, okay, you know, you, wa you already got your clothes washed. Well, now you, you gotta bathe, right? I mean, you, you gotta shower. So, what I use is uh, this soap here. This is Sensaway uh, Sent Away Bar Soap. It's antibacterial, it's deodorizing, it's odorless. And this is actually, this stuff's actually made for uh, hunting. But, you know, we're doing the same thing. We're hunting. Just instead of using a rifle, we're using a camera. You know, we're just taking photographs of these animals. The same concept. You want to get as close as you can or you want to be able to be near the animal without them knowing that, you know, that you're there. So, this is the soap that I use. Um, I get this on Amazon. It's about $4 a bar. Uh, I will leave a link to all these products that I'm using in the description below. So this one, um, the Sentaway brand, uh, has a scent control system. You'll see here on the back, it shows it. So number one is clothes, and I'm gonna make a separate video about all the clothing and stuff that I wear for my wildlife photography. Um, number two, this step is body, which is this kind of stuff, you know. Um, and then three is field, which we'll get into that in another video. So yeah, guys, so these are some nice bar soaps that I use. Oh, also, I use a second product that is not only a like a, uh, a body wash, but it's also shampoo. And that one is this one right here. So this one is called Decode by Code Blue. Uh, this is also made for like hunting. It's unscented, all natural, long lasting, gentle on skin and hair, uh, complete odor elimination. See here, it says. It eliminates both human odor and other offensive foreign odors that could potentially spook game, which is your wildlife. So this is it again here. This is the bottle. Yeah, okay, guys. So, you know, it was just a quick video. Basically, I just wanted to show you guys that these are just a little, a few small steps that you can use and, and imp implement into your wildlife photography if you're not already, and it will help you. I promise you that. A uh, combination of these type of items along with knowledge, um, you know, 
just being diligent, like, you know, being, you know, quiet, watching your steps. And then also, of course, what you're dressed with, uh, you know, camel. Remember, uh, detergent, uh, shampoo, body wash, all odorless. Um, but yeah, guys, so I hope you enjoyed. I hope it helped you out. Link's in the description below. And yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next video.